Welcome back, this is the Clay Golem, and we are once again in Foundry VTT. In our last video, we were looking at creating some maps uh, that we could use for either for random encounters or for our campsite scenes, because I like to have uh, a specific map set aside for that. Um, and one of the things that we did was, apart from create the map, is you know, all kind of hidden down here at the moment, um, we created some tokens or rather we placed some tokens on here. Now these are currently hidden because we didn't want the players to see them. Um, and one of the things we said was, isn't it annoying that we have a campfire? Let's just unhide that. Um, and what we really want to do is to have our campfire light um, and our campfire sounds so that we can set that up, but want to be able to move them all together. Uh, and, I, and I asked the question and said, surely there must be a way to do it. And if I'd actually stopped to think about it, it would have occurred to me because I have encountered it before, although I've not played with it before. So uh, Cheeky Stock, which is a fantastic name, um, did leave a message to say that the module we want, the add-on we want is Token Attacher. Uh, it says it in the name, doesn't it? We're looking at tokens and we want to attach stuff. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a look at that today. Um, so let's go over to our game settings at the top right. Go to our manage modules uh, and scroll down and find our token attacher. Here it is. It's not attached, not uh, active yet. Um, obviously, I went and downloaded it. You don't need to see me do that. OK, let's save that again. It's going to reload our scene for us. Now, I did have a little play with this uh, before in my test world um, because sometimes there's little fiddly bits and you get a bit stuck on. And there was one bit I get, got stuck on and had to look it up. I don't want you guys to watch me Google stuff. That's ridiculous. Um, but uh, I do these things so you don't have to. <laughs> so what, what elements have we got here for our campfire? So we've got light, we've got sound, uh, and we've got our token. So we've got all three of those things that really we would like them together and ideally we would like it as some kind of prefab so we can just drag it out and drop it wherever we want rather than having our tokens kind of hidden on the scene. There's nothing wrong with doing that, That's, it works, um, but it could get a bit cluttery. So there are better ways to do it. So how do we do this? We're going to create two different... Um, prefabs if you like one of them is going to be just for the campfire with its light um, and with its sounds so that we can drop, drop that anywhere we like and then we're going to create one that is set up as a camp where I'm going to put the bed rolls and things around it so I can just drop that out as an entire camp on its own so what do we need to do to start well if we first of all if we go top left here we go to our token controls we've now got this couple of new options here so this chain one, which is uh, open attaching UI, which won't do anything because we haven't got a token selected yet. Um, but we also have a quick edit mode, um, which just enables you to do a few bits. We're not going to worry about that in a moment because we're mostly focusing on creating our prefab. So in order to do that, what we need is a token. OK, here's our token. We've got one here. Uh, and so if I've got that selected, Except why won't it let me select it? Hmm, okay. I thought I could select it and then go to the, the token thingy. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> and and this, is, this is why we play with stuff before we even attempt to... Uh, attempt to look, show you guys stuff. So I've got this selected, right? That is definitely... Oh, it's because that's a tile, isn't it? Um, du, 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 du. It's a tile rather than the token. Okay, that's fine. Um, it's token attacher, not tile attacher. Okay, brain. So what do we mean by tokens? So what we're going to do, is I'm going to go to my actors um, thing here, and we're going to create an actor that is going to be the token, and we're going to, so we have a token, because remember our player characters, let's bring up Baldrick, that's his token. So we're going to attach stuff to a token. Get my brain sorted. Um, okay, so we're going to create a new actor 
First of all, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it prefabs just so that things don't get mega messy. Uh, let's make it purple because why not? OK, so we've got our prefabs folder and in this prefabs folder, I'm going to create a new actor and I'm going to call it campfire. I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to call it campfire. I'm just going to call it campfire. OK, um, I'm going to make this a non-player character. doesn't really matter. And it's going to be in that prefabs. So there we go. So we've got a new character with a character sheet that is not what we need, but we've got it. Um, and if we want to, we can up change we can change up this um, icon here. So I am going to do that. I'm going to change this. Um, da, 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 da. Of course, we've got tokenizer installed, which is why it immediately comes with tokenizer. Uh, I want to. I don't want to upload from my computer. I can do. Um, where did I put Foundry? No, not in Foundry, was it? Your Muppet. Uh, I DM tools. No, I think I put it in characters. I had my, yes, my little campfire icon. So campfire 2 is the one I want. It's a PNG. Um, da -da. Let's get rid of that one behind it. Okay, so that is going to be our avatar. Uh, and of course, we can get rid of those bits uh, and we can say use that as our token. Okay, so we apply that. We've now got our campfire and the good thing is up here it says campfire and we've got the little picture. So now we can drag that token on there and use it just like any other token, which is great. Okay, so that's what we're going to need. Now before I do that, uh, is there anything else I want to change on here? Uh, let's have a quick look at ownership. All players should be none, which is good. Don't want them messing with <laughs> Don't want them messing with it, which is good. Right. Let's wrap our token out. That is our representative token. Now that doesn't mean that we necessarily want that token to be visible to everybody else. Okay, so we can actually hide that token and make that invisible. Okay, so that's now not viewable by the characters. Uh, I've got Baldrick over here. So Baldrick, I'm going to pop him down here so we can see a few things when we do that. So now if I go to this open attaching UI over here. Just want to check, uh, not sure how loud that is. Let's turn that fire sound off for you. Um, by selecting our token and going to the link thing, can you see it's brought up this extra window? So now we know everything else we're doing is going to potentially relate to this token for our campfire. Uh, we can select, we can attach, we can detach, we can detach everything. Uh, I'm not sure what the locking does or doesn't do. I don't think we need to do that. Uh, and there's a couple at the bottom which allow us to copy and paste stuff. So the first thing we want to do is we want to say for our campfire, if we select this tile, this tile here, I want this tile to be attached to that token. Okay, so it said here selected objects have been attached. So if I go back to our actor and I move this, can you see that is now moving with it? Beautiful. Now we need to do that with our flame. So if I put the flame over it where I want it, uh, I can click attach. Except I can't because it's not a selected object. Um, you'll notice when we're on the light controls, we can click it. But as soon as we move our mouse off, it doesn't leave it selected. If we double click it, it opens up our options. If I right click it, it just turns it on and off. So how do I select that in order to attach it? OK, so what I do is instead I go to this top selection tool, click this. And I knew it was going to do that. I need to come off of the light, come off of light, go back to token controls. I know my light is directly on this. So if I go to here and say, right, attach all of those bits. Did it do it? Selected objects are attached, it just said. OK, so now if I select my token and move that, can you see that the light is in fact moving with it? So if I move it over here, go back to my light, here's my light. It's actually attached to this token here. 
Um, so that tile of the picture is coming with us. This light is coming with us too. Now what I do want to do is um, just check this. Um, are we happy with 10 and 10 and 30? I think that we're probably quite happy with that. Um, color intensity I might turn down slightly. Light animation, happy with that, nice and fast flickering. Okay, good. Uh, now what we can do, of course, if we want to, is we can add another light one here. Uh, let's put on that... Bleh, not, not swirling rainbow, we don't want that. We can put on another torch. Let's have it as a different animation speed. And we can make this um, perhaps not red. But perhaps a darker orange. Um, and we can turn its intensity down a bit. And you can see that that's a slightly different colour. But it's also flickering at a different rate. So if we wanted to get fancy, um, we can absolutely... I want to change these 10. Um, actually, I might make that 5 and 10. So it's a little bit more intense on the inside. And I can actually put that over there as well. Okay, so we've got these, let's look at Baldrick. So we've got these brighter inner ring uh, and then this dimmer outer fire. So I've now got two lights. Again, if I go to my token and do the select all and I select that area, it now has attached both of those light sources here. So we can attach multiple things if we want to. That's really good. And of course, we've got our sound as well. Just click that back on. Pop that directly over that because that's where I want that sound coming from. This is our campfire crackle. I'm going to give it a radius of 40. Volume easing, yes. Constrained by walls, uh, yes. Uh, maximum volume, um, I think that was all right at five, probably. That normally is quite good. I'm going to update that. Uh, I'm going to go back to my token controls, select and then just make sure that's included. So when I now select Baldrick, hopefully as he moves closer, we should be able to hear that. Yeah, sounds quite quiet on mine, but I have my speakers down fairly low. So uh, hopefully you can hear that a bit better in the video. So we've got the sounds and things, and I can move this campfire anywhere I like. So that's exactly what we were talking about wanting to do, wasn't it? Now, if I I can reveal or hide this, but that doesn't reveal or hide these individual elements. So the idea of having these attached is brilliant, but if I just try and hide this away in the bushes, that's not going to work. Not like it did with not like it did with these, where we can just hide them and shove them out the way where we don't need them somewhere. Um, we can't use that. But what we wanted to do. Oops, give me the token. Uh, but what we want to do is create this as a prefab. That means whenever we drag it out of our prefabs folder, it's going to bring in exactly this for us. So every time there's a campfire, we can just drag that straight out and slap it down. So if I drag this out at the moment, so over on the right, if I just drag this out, it's only giving us our actor. It's not updated. So remember, whenever we have we drag something from the Actors tab, we create a token, which is a representation of the actor. But changes to the token don't affect the actual actor itself. So that's what we've got here. Um, so I can update, for example, Baldrick's token and give him dark vision. That does not update his character to say his character's got dark vision. It's only the token. So here, we've updated our campfire token with all these extra bits, lovely jubbly, but we haven't updated the actor. So we need to do that. If we double click on the actor, okay, and we make sure we've got this, this token selected because this is the one, at the top of our actor sheet, just move that down a little bit, we've got prototype token. What that means is clicking that, it's going to bring up and say, we're now looking at the token. It's called Campfire. We're not going to display its name, um, but we can, it's not hostile, let's just put it as neutral. <laughs> uh, we can assign 
token. Now this says updated prototype configuration for campfire. Let's close that, close that. Now when we drag this out, fingers crossed, we've got a new campfire. That's exactly what we want, isn't it? I can now delete all of those campfires off of here because I've got it, got what I need. Let's go to one of the other scenes. Um, that's journals. Campsites. Let's pick our woodland path. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that. So we've got nothing on here. It's nice and dark. Haley's in the dark all by herself. Uh, I can actually close that. I don't need it anymore. But if I go to my actors and go campfire, boom, there's your campfire, Haley. Lovely. Now, the one thing that, um, of course, I have done is I've got this. My token is off to one side. Um, I've got the token hidden. So if I go to Haley um, as a player, as a DM, I can still see that. But Haley would only be able to see the campfire. But there is one other thing that we could do with this, uh, which is if we select our token, uh, we go to our attachment thing. We could detach all of these things. Uh, hang on a second. So the bin is detach all elements. We've still got them. They're still on screen. But what we could do is move that directly onto our token. Move that directly onto our token. Go to our sound, move it directly onto our token. And our tile and move it directly onto our token. Okay, so they're all right on top of each other. So now I've still got my campfire token. If I do this select tool, I can grab that lot and that is now all one item. And it's all on the same square. Okay, so the token is in the same place as the campfire. Now let me go back to campfire here, double click. I want to go to prototype and default to that. I'm going to now assign token again. We go. It gives me this red error because I had the other thing open. So if I get rid of that, now when I drag campfire out, it's just wherever it is. I haven't got the the actual actor token sitting off to one side. They're all on top of each other. So that's a bit nicer to use. So we can just slap that out whenever we want. If we particularly want to change colours and things, we can still go to those individual elements and change them. Um, but they will still then drag with our token which is really good okay so that's that done we've now got our campfire one fabulous um, let's go back to our previous scene we were in which was the woodland clearing all right so I'm now going to go to my actors I'm going to drag out my campfire and slap it there and what I wanted to do with this was take some of these tiles and put some of these bed rolls around the campfire. Uh, so I'm going to make these visible. And then if you remember, I can rotate these. They right, there's that one's there. Uh, maybe that one's out a little bit further. Because let's face it, you don't want to be on top of the fire. <laughs> you want to be, you want to be nice and warm. In fact, actually, let's, yeah, let's put it about five foot. As as the night draws in, it might get a bit uh, a bit nippier. You want to be nearer the embers as the fire starts to die down. So we can absolutely do that. I'm going to create a new actor here. I'm going to call this campsite. Um, am I going to, I'm not going to worry about the updating that at the moment. I'm just going to call this campsite. Now I'm going to drag this campsite down here. Okay, so this is our campsite. In fact, actually, I, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is, I've not done this yet, so please hold. I'm going to select this token. I'm going to copy the attached elements. I'm going to 
paste the attached elements and that hasn't done anything like what I hoped it would which is not a surprise is it so if I select this one campfire copy those attached elements copied attached elements great now close that select this token open paste attached elements hey there we go genius all right so we've managed to do that and it we can see that that's copied across now let's just check if we move this one those elements are coming with us so we've basically duplicated what we had uh, what i do want to do is hide the actor so that we won't have that okay and of course we can change the image for the actor so that's good so now what i'm going to get rid of that one Whew. pop this actor up here so this is our campsite actor uh, and now what i can do is use this tool to hopefully copy all of those and take the bed rolls with me there we go so we've now got a new one i need to leave that selected I need to go to campsite, I need to prototype token, I need to assign token. It's giving me this red error message because I've got that open still. But it's okay, it still worked. So now I've got this. So get rid of that, get rid of that. Completely new scene, they just light a campfire, there's your campfire. They're going to set up a campsite, they set up a campsite. And of course, you can attach as many tiles and things as you want to this. You can use it for building up, you know, a, a cart with supplies in it. Um, you might have wagons uh, in fires and uh, a makeshift kitchen, tents, all sorts of things that you can use to create this prefab just to dump it out. Uh, you can prefab buildings uh, and all sorts of things like that. Now, um, prefabbing buildings, I can see why you might want to do that, but how often are you going to want to use exactly the same layout for something unless it's something like a temple where they have a uniform shrine or temple layout no matter where they are so they might encounter the same one in different cities and different places you might want to do that you know kind of like altars um but i think for things like you know uh, they're going to set up camp yep they put their bed rolls out now of course what you could even do is they turn up uh, they light a fire, they're going to have a short rest, cup of tea, coffee, whatever it is, cook some food, and they decide to have a short rest, and then they decide, actually, let's get the bed rolls out. We should, in theory, just be able to chop that over the top, um, and we can do it that way if we wanted to. Yes, let's double the light sources, just so you're aware. Um, but, uh, yeah, you could do that. Come on, move it. Oh, of course, we could just delete that one from underneath. Okay, right, so that's token attacher. That seems to work really, really well. Now, there's only one other thing that I want to do um, that we could potentially use that for is, uh, again, we're sticking with our fires and things. If I take our campfire and stick that out there, um, there are better ways of doing this. I know this. But when we look at some of our players, so let's look at Nundro. He has a spell effect so he can cast create bonfire now it's not like a cone of cold it's not magic missile it's not that kind of thing it literally creates a fire where it is so what we could do is we could look at this uh, and say well what is there anything on here that is different from our actual campfire that we could do and actually i'm thinking there's not it's a five foot cube um Yep, dexterity saving throw, damage, etc. So actually, I could duplicate this campfire one, call it bonfire, maybe change some of the parameters, change the distance and things. And when he casts that, I can just slap that out. Bam. That's where he's cast it. I could do that. Why not? I'll probably change the image, to be fair, if I did it on bonfire. Um, but we could use that for those sustained sort of spell effects that don't have direct impact there are better ways to do it and one of the add-ons we are going to look at um, 
will hopefully do a lot of those spell effects and things for us. The reason we've not looked at those things quite yet is because of the version 3 of the game engine coming out. It has um, caused a couple of issues with some of the ads, um, as we've seen with um, when we were looking at uh, Dfred's uh, active effects. In theory, the game engine should do some of that stuff, but it wasn't quite there. So rather than looking at add-ons that I know are going to have some issues right now, um, one of them was updated this morning, so I'm going to have a look at that and see if that's been rectified. Um, but uh, yeah, in the interim, I've got a bonfire that I can slap out. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. I think that works really well. Uh, it's going to become important to keep things neat and tidy. So uh, I've got my prefabs folder. That campfire, the campsite's not in there. Let me dump that in there. There we go. <laughs> and within that prefabs folder, I'll probably have a whole sorts of whole sort of uh, list of other folders of different prefabs I've created for different purposes. Um, but yeah, it could be handy to have some prefabs. You can th just chuck out whenever you need to. Um, even if you're using a generic map like this, you can chuck out a, I don't know, a small farming farmhouse or things like that. Um, yeah, good. So thank you for the cheekiest doc for uh, pointing out that this was the add-on to use for this. I hope that's been useful. Um, yeah, uh, let me know what you would be using this for. Um, at the moment, this is the only thing I've come across that would be particularly good. Um, I'm sure there are tons of other things. I'm not sure if there's anything else in the Stormwreck Isle that you think might benefit from using token attachment. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.